Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another TV show reaction. Today, we're going to be hopping into season one, episode three of The Punisher. Now, guys, if, you, if you've if you seen the, pe the previous episodes, you guys know that my excitement for this TV show is at a high level. Not just because that it's The Punisher, but because of just how well the filmmaking and the cinematography and the storytelling and the characters, the way they're treated are in this series. And it's given me like incredible amounts of passion that was radiating off of daredevils uh a tv show run and i am really excited to just dive even deeper not only into this character but into how the character sees this world in the same world and environment as matt murdoch the daredevil and i think it's really cool being able to compare the two as well because they are the same but they are just enough just enough to where they're not and i think it's so beautiful seeing how that one little smudge of difference can just lead to two separate world views of how they see um i guess you say hell's kitchen so i'm really excited to jump into this guys if you want to check out like you know early access or full length reactions i definitely recommend the patreon link guys we have an awesome community over there i can't thank you guys enough seriously i i like you guys are really helping me out and if you want to be a part of that too definitely check out the link below but like always guys like i'm excited to jump right into this i'm not going to talk too much i'm ready to see what happens with frank and you know with micro and how this is going to grow because the dynamic is just just super complex but it's so good it's so good so without further ado let's hop right into episode three season one of the punisher <sighs> Well, if you're getting interrogated by the Punisher butt naked, your day did not start out the way you wanted it to be. <laughs> you are not in for a good surprise here. Okay, this place is rigged. What do you mean it's rigged? What is that? It means I don't type a code into the central terminal and then kaboom. Wow. All right. That is quite the backup plan. That is quite the backup plan for sure. 90 seconds, we're both gonna die feeling pretty stupid here, you know that? Oh, man. Oh, man. Question is, like, I'm wondering if he's, like, actually serious about this or not. Go on. Oh, man. So he was. He was being dead serious. He was being dead serious. Frank was, <laughs> Frank, you were literally about to fry the both of you. When you take away day and night and food, no water, no patterns. Hmm. Oh, man, dude. <laughs> Frank is just like working this man's psyche right now. Sounds like he's coming from experience. That's for sure. Assess this ship pile for uh, mm. actionable intelligence. So he definitely has something to do with whatever Frank was involved in over in Afghanistan. Because people are trying their best to hide it. All right, you guys get into your PJs. Time for bed. I finished my homework. Oh, your father will look at it before you. Wow, that was a really cool camera movement right there. Just kind of showcasing his family life on one angle, and then as the camera went by, it showed him kind of sitting at the dinner table alone, maybe like foreshadowing about, you know, him having to fake his death for his family. Hmm. How am I supposed to look these guys in the eye when I didn't have the guts to do the right thing? It's really good seeing his morals, like where he basically came from, you know? Like he's, he wants to do good, but obviously doing good isn't the easiest thing. It never really is. But he had a point about how he wants to be able to, you know, be a figure for his for his family. It all starts with these moments where you're tested. Just like how Matt Murdock is tested with his faith all the time. That's what it means to be a good person. Constantly being tested. Are we gonna be late? No. No. No, no, no. We should be fine, you guys. Okay. 
Everyone has the same idea we do. Oh boy. Oh, this is... This is not good. No, 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 Sarah, go! Go, 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 go! No! Oh my goodness. Wow, and he kept saying drop the weapon too. And he had no weapon. And you can see the bullet wound still on him. That is crazy. That is crazy. Autopsy report. Unless Wolf yeah. shot himself in wow, the what a busted his own face. What a crazy backstory. My goodness. Just to see him like lose almost everything is just my God. That's terrible. Why you gotta be so quiet? Like a damn cat. Tie a bell around my neck or something, not to help you out. <laughs> yeah, you do that. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so they actually know each other. What were they like? In the same gang? Like So does he know Frank then? Oh, yeah, yeah, because he said last time, like, they were best friends, actually. You always were good at putting people back together. You should stay. See what you're paying for. Yeah. yeah I, don't... Mm. I love that these two are being shot in separate frames. Usually when things are shot like that, it must mean, like, you know, there's some uneasiness between the two. I'm not quite sure what it is, but that's what the cinematography is kind of telling me, in my opinion. I'm going back. That's Guess really interesting. So he's definitely still, I mean, I know he has his company Anvil, but there's like a cloud of mystery around him. I'm not quite sure how to really um, explain his character, but it just seems chameleon like to wage the war that must be waged to finally win this thing what we will do is dirty and tough but it will speed an end all right so this seems like his 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 group because obviously you have schoonover you have the guy who ran anvil and then you know just basically everyone here it's great that we're getting some actual backstory with this because there's always been shrouded in mystery. Castle and Rousseau are team leaders. They'll post all assignments. Any questions? Sir. Dang, so Rousseau was a team leader. Which means he would probably be on the same scale as Frank, I would, I would say, yeah? How's your team look? Ready for bear? Like, it's so dope, like, just seeing, like, the minute movements of, like, you know, these actors, like Frank Castles, like, how he basically bunched up the pillow and put it in the back of his head. I mean, I know it's something super small, but, like, like, an actor is doing that. I think that's really fascinating to kind of make note of. And maybe, you know, up-and-coming actors or actors who do watch this, maybe something you can learn from. Really being able to dive into the minute details of your character. Two reporters as an enemy ambush. Lion pricks. Mm. Mm. All I could think was that it dishonored those men and soldiers. This is so interesting that they are tackling this again. I'm happy that they are because these conversations are very real. And I love that they're focusing on this guy me that he is turning into an asshole like it all meant nothing wow and this music just kind of making you feel the desolation and the conflict that he's having inside of him i feel like there's just so much bubbling up and it's just waiting to burst through and i'm i'm a little scared what the hell is it that you do anyways wow. curtis wow I sell insurance that's Incredible. It's a hell of a sales tool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let's wrap it up, guys. There's something about this guy that I think a lot of people, you know, 
in the military or just, you know, anything in general can really probably relate to. But then you got like people like that where it's like, yo, like, just let him come to terms on his own. Like, you can't just. And that's how it starts warping the mindset. And that's why I'm afraid that something is going to is going to happen with him. Like, he's going to do something stupid. These media outlets in the whole world knows that you're still alive. You want that? No, let me go. Let me go. Man, Micro is a genius, man. I mean, dude, he's he has this whole setup. Like he made this whole lab. Of course, he had these protocols in the store. Let me ask you something. How many times was Ahmad Zubair beaten? How many times was this innocent man tortured? He was a good man. He was an honorable father. He was a cop. Hey. Wow. Wow. And Frank was a part of that. This is so... This is going to be rough, man. This is going to be extremely rough to watch. Do it. Please. I'm not a terrorist. I have a family. Oh, Frank. I, I have Dude, a family. Frank. Frank. Wow. I just got chills. <laughs> I just got chills. Frank, what the hell, man? You good with that? He's asking for our opinions. Not while we're here. Let's go. Wow, Frank was cold, man. He was cold, man. Oh my goodness. That was a rough scene to watch, guys. That was that was pretty rough. Just when he was over there. Mm, uh oh. He called me, you know. Just shoot the shit. Uh oh. He almost gave up his his whereabouts. Temporarily. Someone has to become the agent in charge. Why not you? Not I love her voice. I said that in the previous episode, but like my goodness. Her voice is just so awesome. I love it. Silaby. That's life. How we deal with disappointments is what decides the person we are. 100%. 100%. That's very true. I love that, Saring. That was really good. After what happened with your friend, perhaps you're terrified someone will choose to trust you. Hmm. That's some good old-fashioned mom just interpretation. Like, that knowledge is just like A1. Only a mother could give that sort of knowledge like that. Oh! Woo! Yup. And now we're realizing what this dream is truly about. I was afraid that Frank was the one who pulled the trigger, but now we know for sure he did. And it's been haunting him ever since. Whoa, whoa, what did he just do? Whoa. What is that? What the heck, did he plan that too? Damn. Oh God, he's gonna get triggered. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Yo, that is, that's crazy. That was crazy. That's crazy. Oh my goodness, man. I'm okay. No, I could have killed you now. Oh man, that that's rough. That that's rough. That was really well done though. I, I love that they just let that play out. 
Wow. That's that's really that's scary. I mean, I'm not obviously not for like, like for the father, of course, but like, you know, the fact that he has to kind of cope with that, you know, like that's terrifying. Why didn't you kill me? Oh my god, man. You didn't listen to anything I said? <laughs> yeah, I think Michael's been telling the truth. It's just that Frank is is like a little you know, he always thinks that the world is after him, rightfully so, but like I think Michael is telling the truth. But we're not the bad guys here there. Right? Hmm. <laughs> oh man, is Frank about to get a worthy companion? Frank and Micro? Micro and Frank? <laughs> Ratchet and Clan? No, I don't know why I said that. This is a clandestine mission, Lieutenant Russo. Air support would negate that. You got something to add, Castle? Sir, this looks like an ambush. Mm. And it's interesting now. I mean, he's going to probably have an outlook on this, especially since his wife gave him that, that letter. He's looking to go home. Trust Frank's instincts, sir. And I trust hard-earned, thoroughly vetted intelligence. I'll take my information over the... Man, I do not like this dude. I don't like this guy. He's such like a government bullcrap. Man, I'm sorry, but like, I don't like him. I'm with Frank and Russo, man. He's giving me shady vibes. I mean, he already does shady stuff. That's literally his job. It's about time I had a fair fight. I'm going. And I'm coming with you. It's wild seeing Frank in action here now, you know? Just seeing how this transpires into what he does now, I think it's really awesome. You just don't bleed out, you hear me? I'm gonna get you home, sir. I'm gonna get you home. Come on! Wow, I love this. Wow, man. Yo, <laughs> Anthony Bertho is like so damn good as the Punisher. He's just a good actor in general. I will say this. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of sort of expecting a long take of this. Like a, one of those long takes like they do in Daredevil. I was kind of expecting that to be something like this. I think it would have been pretty cool, but this is still really awesome. He's still like blowing people to bits and stuff. Up, <laughs> Honestly, I think this was probably done so and edited in this way just to showcase how, I mean, how he processes war, survival in his mind, psychologically. Well, we're getting our one take, that's for sure. And this guy, man, yo, I do not like this guy. I've never been so pissed off, man. Like, he's, I, I do not like him. Someone punch him in the face. Why are you, Why are you protecting Stand that piece of shit? I'm protecting you guys like that? Yeah. It's never on them. I'm happy someone did that. I'm happy someone did that. Mm. Man, what a backstory, bro. What? That was some heavy, heavy stuff right there. Yeah, name it. He died. Yeah. Hmm. Every single one of them, no trials. Yeah, he's not. He's not Daredevil. He is not Daredevil. He is like, yo, they're gonna die. Yeah, I can live with that. All right, and it's on. That was an incredible episode, guys. Wow. I'm about to hop into the next one. <laughs> All right, everybody. And that basically wraps up the Punisher episode three. Guys, this was oh, every episode is just going to be is, is every episode going to be like this? Because like, if so, I am completely ready for it. I am absolutely ready for it. I'm 
really loving Micro's character. I really love Micro's character, and like always, they really show the depths of these people. And man, I mean, when you go and you know journey within these 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 humans and the depths of their their backstory, it's like wow, like you're really in for a ride because I mean, just going by what really happened in Gandar with um you know with, with Frank's uh and Russo's team I mean my goodness that is something that is yeah you won't be really able to sleep well after that for sure and I'm happy that they you know really took the time to dedicate an episode towards that like what really happened it wasn't just you know um artistic metaphors which I'm perfectly fine with but it's good to be able to see it in the flesh for what it is now and um it's just as brutal and haunting as depicted and as spoken of um and my goodness like <laughs> i am not gonna lie i was very surprised that frank pulled the trigger i was just not i was not ready for that i was not ready for that that definitely caught me off guard on frank's character but i mean obviously it wasn't something he could just shrug off his shoulders hence why he's battling that in a ptsd sort of basis and i think ptsd is something that i you know caught was like a theme of this and how you can't really escape from it you know i mean you can attempt to cope and to heal but it's never really going to be gone and we saw that with the soldier who was about to shoot his father because of the trauma he experienced during the war and i think that this speaks loudly on an already you know uh, loud topic of you know just our military coming back home and having these pent up and you know just just difficult emotions to go through and ptsd and they're not really taken care of not at all they're not really taken care of as you know to the point where i think people would really want to see them being taken care of mentally um and so i'm really interested in seeing where they take his journey and where his journey is going to end up because i'm really worried about that kid man I'm, I'm really worried about him because it's a ticking time bomb and it's just it's a shame because you know he means well but he's dealing with something that is just it, it feels so distant for him so i'm really excited about you know where they're going to be taking that story because i think it's a very important one but guys i'm excited i'm going to jump right into the next episode for my patreon people out there i'll see you there but if you guys want to get the early access and all that good stuff and tune in for more definitely check out the patreon link below but like always guys be healthy be safe and stay hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed everything that i should ever need grab some matches because they give them free like my time Hair pulled back in the backseat